Hi Gemini, welcome to your November tarot forecast. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal reading information, uh, ways to donate information, uh, social media, decks I'm using, all kinds of information. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, those who bless me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or a donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you for all your support and helping the channel's growth, being a part of that, getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. I couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Gemini, this is your general tarot forecast for November. So if everybody's doing well, happy fall, happy November. Okay, so we'll see what comes out. It could end up being about love. It could be about career. It could be about anything. So we'll see what comes out. All right, you never know. So let's see. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign element planet. If you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. Rest of the reading may be for you. If you click on the title, something resonated for you in the title so there's probably something in here for you so let's see gemini cancer all right so some gemini's may have a cancer around them in some way shape or form it could be a family member it could be a friend it could be a co-worker it could be a significant other it could be anybody you could have cancer in your chart cancer in their chart cancer cancer in the uh, major arcana does represent the chariot which is about positive movement forward so that could mean something also and i noticed gemini year three cancer goes to four three four so that's progression so you could be progressing in something um in the month of november so let's see what's going on for gemini for november what's going on for gemini for November, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Jupiter. Male, female, doesn't matter who's watching this. Reading is for everybody. Okay, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. All right. Let's get your main message. What is Gemini's main message for November? We have surrender here. I can release my need to control so some of you may need to release that need to control everything around you, everything in your life, people, places, things, circumstances, whatever here. Giving up the need to just control everything, just let things be, let it happen as it's meant to, and just surrendering, surrendering that, that need to control. So let's get uh, your overall energy here. So relationships, I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So, so this is telling you here to uh, make sure your relationships, whether they're friends, family, significant other, whatever, co-workers, that it's uh, for your higher good, that it's um, good intentions and that sort of energy, not like a negative energy either and don't be attracted or just be in relationships with people either because you think that um they have something like oh if i'm friends with this person um you know i can get this from them or that from them like they're only going to serve you higher good like in a selfish way you know don't be in that energy either so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck we have health i will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So some of you may need to focus on your health um, in the month of November. If you haven't been to the doctor in quite a long time, you may want to have, pay a doctor's visit, get your annual or whatever if you're long overdue. There's something that's been kind of bothering you. You've been putting it off, putting it off. Um, you probably need to uh, take care of that. All right, or, you know, maybe you need to just start exercising, eating healthier, or whatever here. It could be mental health, physical health, emotional health, whatever here. But something needs to 
go in a more positive direction uh, health-wise, whatever it is for you in the month of November. All right. I don't know why, but when I flip that card over of um, relationships, if we because we got this control card too, I got a very selfish energy. So I, I don't know. We'll see. So what's going on for Gemini for November? Why is relationships here? Why is relationships here? Why is this energy here? The moon. So Cancer Pisces. Is a Cancer coming in? So this is secrets, illusions, uh, not seeing things clearly. And it could also be, you know, secrets coming to light. Energy also. There may be something you're not seeing about certain people you have relationships with. If they're just family, friends. You may think they're, you know, friends just, you know, for your higher good, but they may not be. They may have secrets or they may have secret motives. Here with the moon card. So let's see. Let's get a little more energy into this. Why is the moon card here with relationships? For Gemini, for November, we have the Ten of Wands, which is about, you know, burdens, too many burdens, and laying down those burdens, something coming to an end. Now we have the Hermit energy, which is Virgo. So we have the Ten of Wands, and we have the Hermit. So, I mean, there may be something overburdening burdening you, like you have too much responsibility of something and with the moon and the hermit energy i'm getting an energy of like not really telling people you know what you're going through what's going on with you whatever it's going on in your life right now it could be a relationship you have with a family member or something like that or a friend and it's very burdensome it's like you carry a lot of weight with this relationship for some reason and it's like you keep it to yourself with the moon energy. You don't really tell people. And the hermit energy is like a single energy also. That's like, you know, just keeping to yourself and not really um, saying anything either. Um, you know, it can also be about doing that inner soul journey where, you know, finding your way, finding your light, you know, thinking, contemplating and that all that sort of energy. So you may be thinking about a way here on how to release some sort of burden here, something very burdensome. It's like you're trying to find a way here to release that last burden. And it could have to do with a cancer, someone that you're in a relationship with some way and ha could have to do with health issues. And maybe you've been trying to do it all on your own, like trying to control the whole situation, just trying to do everything um, by yourself and now it's like okay now you just need to, to surrender to surrender and just surrender this last wand of burden this is fire energy leo sag aries virgo cancer pisces doesn't have to be so yeah i feel like it's somebody i mean it could be a mother it could be the moon is feminine energy so it could be a, a mother a grandmother sister that's older than you or something like that uh, maybe you're a caretaker for them and it's just getting way too burdensome now. And it's like I'm trying to figure out a way here where I can release this burden, like this last burden here. Because I just can't control everything on my own anymore. I need, you know, it's telling you, you you can't control it anymore, that you need to just surrender the issue, whatever it is for you. Okay. It may be affecting your health too. I mean, maybe... You know, whatever you're doing, it's like you can't even take care of yourself either. So, yeah. Stress, worry, anxiety, fear. Yeah, this has really got you all up in your head. Just, like, really stressed out. It's really, really stressed out. Air, and that's right, energy. Air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And you're trying to figure out a way how to conquer this battle with this beast, whatever it is. You know, how do I conquer that? How do I get out of this stress and anxiety? It's like you got your sword up, so, you know, sword's about 
thinking, their mental thinking, you know, clarity. Like you're really trying to think of a way here to strike, to, you know, conquer that issue. And we have the Empress energy here. So this can be Libra Taurus, doesn't have to be. Empress can be male or female, you know, Emperor, Empress, whatever here. So yeah, the Empress here can be a mother figure. So I mean, this definitely could be, and right with the moon energy here, could be a mother or a grandmother or an older sister or something like that. Maybe that you're caring for. It's just like, I just can't do it on my own anymore. I can't. I just can't. So let's see. Oh boy, Gemini. Let's see what your actual situation is here. See if we can get like your actual situation. So we got the Knight of Cups, we got the Page of Cups, and the Six of Swords. So this is all water energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces with the Knight and the Page. And the Knight, you know, is an action movement card. Um yeah, so see, he's drinking his own cup, so, and we had health there, and this is telling you, you need to take care of yourself right now, you need to um, focus on you, it's like you can't do this all on your own, you need to drink from your own cup now, and then right in the middle here is the page of cups, so this is, can be apologies, this can be communication, it can be, you know, compassionate, loving sort of communication. It may just be like, hey, I'm sorry, but this is the situation. Having that compassionate communication between you and another person. And the Six of Swords is your energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So this is leaving things behind that are no longer serving you and moving forward in more positive, healing, um, peaceful directions. So I feel like... The Page of Cups right in the middle, you might have to have some, may have to have a very compassionate, honest um, conversation with this person and say, you know, I need to tend to myself, I need to love myself, take care of myself, my health, I can't do this, it's too much burn, it's too much stress, and I need to just, you know, go in a healthier direction here. All right, so let's see. That's your actual situation. So I think you're thinking about that, like, you know, telling this person, okay, this is what I think we need to do. No, I'm sorry, um, but this is the situation. I can, just can't do it. My health is, you know, being affected. I'm stressed, I'm burdened, um, you know, I just can't do it. Wow, okay, so let's see. The devil, yeah, toxic energy. So Capricorn energy doesn't have to be. So, you know, it's a very toxic energy. It could be a toxic situation, or that's just all the fear, anxiety, burden, all that energy can be toxic to your body. So, yeah, I, I just feel like it's just being toxic to your body. Not because that, yeah, that person, I'm not saying that person is toxic. I'm just saying the situation is causing you to have toxic energy um, within you with fear, stress, anxiety, feeling overburdened, worn out, tired, your health, you know, neglecting your health. All right, so what else do we have here? The four of wands. So yeah, this is something in the home. So you could even live, you could live with your mom, you could, um, live with family members or something like that, but this is the home. So something in the home energy that's fire energy there doesn't have to be, but that definitely is something something in the home here. And the Empress is usually a mother figure or something like that. It, the energy is just, it's just, uh, it's too much. So let's see what your advice is. So. I don't know what your actual situation, everybody's situation is different. I, I'm getting the feeling like you're caring for one person all on your own. And it's just getting to be like just too much and something needs to happen here. 
Uh, you could live with this person or you could just be at their house like every day taking care of them. The four of wands there. All right, so let's see what your advice is, Gemini. So we have the fool. So this is a brand new beginning, taking a leap of faith. You know, you reset, restart at zero. So you have to, it's like you, you have to have, like this energy is saying that you need to reset yourself. You need to restart it at zero. Like by yourself, if you can, for some reason here. All right, so what else? The tower, yeah. So it may cause a tower moment here, uh, a shake up or, you know, some arguments or whatever. Here, but I feel like you need to shake things up with the tower energy there. It's Aries, so I think it's necessary so that you can reset yourself back to zero and take care of yourself. All right, so let's see here. Let's get more for this advice. So we have, yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. You see this man like concentrating on himself, his work. So putting in the work here, hard work, I feel like like concentrating on you, putting in the work, like you're doing a lot of hard work also. Not only do you have to work, because you have to work for a living, but now you have to also take care of somebody else. So it's a lot of work. It's like work, 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 work. You have no time for yourself to do what you want to do. All right, so... What else? Four of Cups energy. Yeah, so you're feeling kind of complacent, bored, lonely, um, just blah. It's like I don't have a life. I'm just like blah. I work. I go, go take care of this person. Whatever you're doing, you get up, do it all over again, day in, day out, day in, day out. It's the same old routine, and I'm just like kind of like fed up. There's that water sign again. All right, so, so your advice is, you know, if you want to get out of that energy of just same old thing, day in, day out, work, go to work, go take care of this person, go to work, take care of this person, feeling kind of bored, I have no life, you know, is you need to shake things up some in some way with the tower energy here, because you need to reset yourself back to zero for your own sanity, for your own health. All right, Gemini, let's see what your possible outcome will be. You decide to shake things up, do whatever you need to do, so you can reset back at zero and just dive in, jump right back into your life, doing what you want to do, what you love to do, what will be the possible outcome. So we got the nine of wands. So I think it's going to be a struggle, it's going to be a battle, it's going to be a fight. Uh, but you may come to a compromise here. These two people, you know, look like they were maybe just in battle, but now they kind of come to a compromise. So it may be a struggle, a battle, a fight between you and this person, but there may be a compromise here. I think it's going to be a, a struggle, though. The Nine of Wands energy there. Fire energy doesn't have to be. Leo Sag Aries. So let's get more on this possible outcome. Let's get more the two of wands. So yeah, so I think you'll make plans with this person moving forward. There'll be some kind of plans and decisions made in this situation, whatever it is for you moving forward. There'll be some kind of compromise or decisions will be made moving forward for the future. What else? What else? The King of Swords. So, wow, that's your energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, this is cutting out things no longer serving you. Having mental truth, clarity, clear-cut communication, standing up for yourself, standing your ground, telling it like it is. Be careful, though. The King of Swords can be kind of have a cold tongue. So, just be wary of that energy. So, yeah, I think you're just going to have to stand your ground in your energy here with the King of Swords and just tell it like it is. You know, it may cause this tower moment, but you're going to have to deal with it. Maybe you struggle in a fight, but I think a compromise will be made. Some kind of new plans, decisions will be made for the future moving forward. So 
So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck, the Eight of Cups. So, you know, this is the energy of walking away from things no longer serving you. So I think this situation just isn't serving you for your highest good anymore. And you see that. And it's like you need to just kind of like turn your back and walk away from it as hard as it may be. So, you know, Page of Pentacles, this can be an offer coming in, going out, something uh, stable and grounded, communication. So maybe a very stable um, solution that you come to with this person. Um, you may just maybe a long decision making process here, but I feel like uh, a solid solution will be found. It may just be a long process. Yeah, the Ten of Swords, this is an ending, um, painful, it can be painful, hurtful ending, but I think it'll just be an ending to the situation that you just feel like you cannot do anymore. Yeah, justice, getting justice is a Libra energy. Uh, getting justice in this situation, clear, uh, clarity, balance. I'm not getting anything like in the justice or legal system. It could be um, not legal or justice, but something else, institutional or something like that also. Justice of some kind, which will lead you to the Nine of Pentacles, which is a single energy here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn doesn't have to be. But now being sin single, independent on your own, uh, being stable and grounded, doing what you want to do, having, you know, abundance and just, you know, being able to be yourself and living your life the way you want to live it and being free to do that. Yep. Some kind of justice will be served in this situation. Ending of the hard ways. Some kind of stable solution may take a long time will be had here because you'll be able to walk away from this energy that's no longer serving you. That's really, um, I feel like it's really affecting your health, your mind, your body, stress, anxiety, uh, uh, just feeling weighed down and like overburdened by this whole energy. Okay, so let's see here. Let's get some extra messages. Gemini, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings, and I love to read the comments. And uh, if you do subscribe, I do four different readings a month. I do a reading like this, which is a general reading. I do a love connection reading. I do a uh, spirit messages, what you need to know at this time from spirit. And I do a single reading for those who are single, who's coming towards you, when, where, how, what kind of connection will it be? It's sort of a fun reading. If you're interested in all that, please do subscribe, hit the bell, and you won't miss any of those readings. And uh, if you do, thank you in advance. So extra messages here. We have the prison wave, self-sabotage, poverty, consciousness, three and one, which is the four of, again, with the four of wands there. So I definitely feel like you're feeling like a prisoner in your own home or a prisoner to this routine day in, day out. It's like... It's like you just can't get out of it. You just feel like um, a prisoner of this situation. You're definitely something with the home for, again, showing up here as the four of wands is that home energy. So feeling like a prisoner of the situation. So what else do we have for Gemini? Any other messages for Gemini for November? So let's see, we have the Spiral Dancer, Sarcocious Root, Perception. Yeah, so this is like going round and round and round and round, the Spiral Dancer, going like round and round. So five here, so fives are about change. So something needs to change in this situation because you just feel like the same thing all the time, just going in circles, going in circles, being a prisoner, like, Sir, is that how you say circuitous root and perception so you need to change your perception um, and maybe you know changing your perception will lead to this um, outcome that you'll come to a compromise with because you I feel like you're just going in circles going in circles like constantly every day like being a prisoner of the same 
routine, day in, day out. And we have the High Lord of Gratitude and Service, Selflessness, Humility, Conscious Action, too. So I definitely feel like, too, this is like partnership, unity, two people. So I definitely feel like it's just you and this person. Whether, like I said, it's a mother, it's a grandmother, it's an older sibling, or some sort of older female figure that you, you're caring for. It's like you're the only one that's doing it. So, I mean, service. So definitely, you know, you're taking care of this person. That's the service. And they may be very grateful. They're definitely older here. You know, they're very grateful for your service also. But um, but I also feel, you know, as much as they're grateful, you know, and you may have a good relationship with this person and they're grateful for everything you do, but it's like you just... It's like you just can't do it anymore. And I would think you would have to do what's best for you. So let's see if there's any other messages for Gemini, for November, for November, November. The map maker of destiny, authentic purpose, inspiration, free will. 24 is 6. 6 is a very um, balanced healing number. So I think whatever compromise, whatever solution you have here moving forward, you'll be able to reset at zero, move forward in that independent energy, doing just doing you. And you can be the map maker of your own destiny moving forward, doing your what you do, your authentic purpose, inspiration, and doing things of your own free will. So that's a good energy. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Lady of the Gift, Generosity, Receiving, withholding, 22, again with the two there, the lady of the gift. So, generosity, I mean, I, I feel you've been very generous with your time, your effort. Receiving, definitely, they receive your care. Withholding, you're withholding from living your life because of this situation. And the lady of the gift, I mean, this could be your mother. I mean, they gave you the gift of life. Also, or grandmother, or whatever have you here. But as whatever compromise you come to, whatever solution you come to, moving forward, I mean, don't forget this person. <laughs> like, just totally banish them. You know, banish them from your life. But uh, I do see you'll be able to have free will again and move on. Some sort of peaceful resolution will come here. It will be a, a battle and a fight, though, I feel. Maybe some fights and arguments, but maybe what's needed well good luck to you gemini i hope this resonated for you if it did please let me know leave a comment or two um and like i said subscribe and all that great stuff be greatly appreciated best of luck sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light